three stock on game three. Uh, it was a pretty good game. A lot of Marts like to opt at this stage when Final Destination is banned. Yeah. But Crush joined with Cyrox as kind of the young foxes that have made enormous jumps on the Super Smash with his melee rank. He does not want this to be the end of his winner's bracket run. Man, Crush has had such a great year with a lot of victories. Too many really to name right now. I like his style right now. He's pushing Marth out and keeping him above. Oh my goodness. All right, this is no Toaf. This no. is Crush. He caught some NDI at the right percent, built it up to a platform up smash. A very good early kill. All right. Patrick Lamar looking a little lost in the right platform, but... He's got an opportunity right now with this grab. Yep. Some good things to note from Fendrick is that his shield drop up here and his platform games in general are pretty solid. Yeah. And he had a great combo game yesterday, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. Yeah, he's kind of been sloppy here. You know, you got to get the rust off in the morning, get your simple to do combos. Oh. Looked like a mistaken up air that still paid off. Yeah. Okay. And, and an up B. He likes the fair up B setup. Yeah, he's a European. For the Marts at home, if you want to practice that setup at home, if another fair could land, another soft fair, right. up B would land as well. So look out for that setup. Crush is going to go for this up throw back here. Didn't opt for a vertical. Too low percent. Very clean by Crush. It should be a pretty set standard edge guard. Oh! Fendi spaces it quite well outside the D smash range. And he's going to set up for a juggle here. Yeah, I'm so surprised Crush didn't just refresh on the edge there. I feel like he had Fendi in kind of a checkmate. Yeah, there are a lot of times where Fox can get a little timid on the edge invincibility. That's right. They just play it safe, do an on-stage edge guard, but he ends up getting stuck anyways. That's right. Fendi cool, SDI cool out of there. Tail. Oh, that delay by Crush. Yeah, very the interesting movement. movement. Yeah. Fendrick doing some great dash dances into a very poor tech chase punish. Yeah. Yeah, Fendrick has had pretty uh, lackluster punishes so far this set. I think after a grab, I've only seen him get like one or two aerials at most. Like, yeah. You've got to be doing more than that if you want to be taking down Crush. He's been keeping it kind of close. That stock is going to seal out a bigger difference, though. Right. And I will say the punish game is making the big difference. Fendi is starting to warm up a little bit, has a little bit better DI movement, but even with his grabs that are opening, he's not getting a lot. Yeah. And see how just the threat of lasers from Crush like makes Fendi incredibly nervous and opens up Crush to do kind of just a standard neutral air or shine approach. It's so interesting how one laser will make Nair that much stronger. Yeah. This sour F smash is going to create an edgeguard opportunity. And Crush is going to edgeguard uh, right. Cover high. Got him off stage, Fendi. <laughs> there you go. One more stock down. Crush, though, not sweating at all. Yeah, yeah. Crush looks very confident right now. He's going to end it with a jab up smash. This guy knows all of his kill setups on Marth. That's yeah. one of his big strengths right now. Yeah, that was a really clean game. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like Fendi is going to have to clean up a lot of aspects of his gameplay. Not just his neutral, but his punish game. Uh, he's getting out rotated around the map by Crush's movement. Like, he's kind of just been going for these cheesy forward smash setups. Yeah, even at a low percent, the tech chase, not necessarily the best timing to do it. Yeah, and see that delay on the on the punish there? Fendi is keeping it going, but oh. All right. Crush, yeah, felt the pressure from in. We'll take those. Ledge dash a little too quickly. Yeah. The delayed pressure, what you're talking on from Fendi, is opening up a lot of holes in the punish game. Yes. Now, on the other hand, it can lead to some, you know, cool mix-ups, cool mix psychological pressure, but ultimately, it's better to just have a clean uh, zero to death than relying on your opponent making a mistake. Definitely. When you're down, you want to play straightforward and solid. He's got him in the corner, though. This is actually looking pretty good for Fendi. Dang, Once Crush he gets, just yeah. gets out of that tech chase with a shine a punish. Really great punish from Crush. Yeah, I'm liking this movement from Fendi a lot more. Dash dances are cleaner. Still needs to clean up his punish game, but we've seen more life from him in this game. Something I'm predicting is that Fendi is having a little trouble reacting properly to the percents. He's always doing an attack like a little bit on the wrong percent, right? Early yes. F smash. Okay. He's going to go for this tech chase opportunity, and he's ending it a little too confidently with F smash. Yeah, and Crush is just eating that for breakfast. Like, you want to end every combo with F smash? It's not going to work. Nope. Crush is not positioning himself to get tippered by any of these attacks. Yeah, and these up smashes kind of betraying a little bit of uh, nerves. Lack yeah. of precision by Fendi. Yeah, he's trying to jump before hitting that C-stick, but the C-stick is going to come out too early. Oh my goodness, Crush. Have yeah. mercy. That's a lot of hold DI in. Fendi is searching for answers. And I'll still give him one answer. Yeah. But. He still needs two more kills and another win to win this set. It's a very wow. tough opponent for him. Crush. 
Merciless on the back air, up tilt, forward air, up oh air, crush, send in Fendi to the Shadow Realm above and the Shadow Realm below. What a great DI mix up. He did the soft back air to get the hold in, turn around, up tilt, pulls him in for the up air. He used just about all of Fox's aerials in that yeah. time though.